Hey guys, what not to do when buying a house? Meaning that once you're in the process of buying the house, these are some of the big no-nos, so that way you don't mess up the whole entire transaction for everybody, <laughs> okay? So number one, don't change jobs, all right? You need two years of job experience, steady job experience, before you can go ahead and uh, switch that job. So wait till you've closed on that property before you switch jobs, okay? Uh, secondly, don't buy a new car, don't take on any new debts, don't make any major changes on your monthly payments or monthly obligations, okay? Because your lender is calculating everything based off of your current monthly debts going out and how much has coming in, all right? So that is one thing that's very important is you don't change those ratios because it can mess up how much you can afford. Um, as well as any other stuff, I mean, really those are the two major things, which is changing jobs and taking on new debt. Um, don't go checking credit for a whole bunch of stuff. Let's say you have a whole lot of furniture you want to buy or for the new house and you want to go and start opening up all these new, new just check your credit. You generally want to keep all that credit checking stuff on hold until after that um, loan is closed. Okay, guys. Um, other than that, I mean, of course, don't um, lend out any money to anybody else either. I mean, you need all the cash you can get in your bank account in order to have what's called seasoned funds a lot of times. So you need to, if you, if you have your, your down payment, don't remove it from your account, all right? Leave it in there, because the bank's gonna need to verify that. I've had some friends who went out and bought something or lent the money to, to a friend in need, and all of a sudden comes to close, they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna we'll put it back in. Well now, that money is no longer what's called seasoned, and so it's, it's, a, it's a tougher situation to prove where that money came from. So, um, Anyways, those are some of the little things that you may want to uh, keep in mind if you are in a transaction. And of course, when you work with us, we help you with all that stuff. We advise what to do, what not to do. So give us a call if you do have any questions and um, hit subscribe on YouTube if you're watching it there. There's also a little bell if you wanna get notified for any additional videos as soon as they come up. All right guys, talk to you.